Hi guys, welcome to the Fight or Not to Fight Ministries. Today guys, I'll be reading from Ezekiel 44 and it reads, And the Lord said to me, This gate shall be shut, it shall not be opened, and no man shall enter by it, because the Lord God of Israel has entered by it, therefore it shall be shut. Guys, just as I was reading the scripture, I heard, I heard just as I have shut the east gate, so will I shut the gate your adversaries are using to oppress your life. Just as I have said, no man shall enter by it. I, the Lord, God of Israel, has entered by it. So shall it be for your situation. Guys, God is talking about a specific situation. He's talking about the area where we've experienced the most attacks and the most feelings of defeat. He's not talking about getting rid of every trial and tribulation because we need those. Trials and tribulations literally make us stronger. God is talking about the largest mountain that is in your life that is standing in front of your breakthrough. God is shutting the gate our adversaries are using to oppress our life. And, and the Lord wants us to know that although the enemy will not be able to enter through the same gate, weapons will still be formed but it will not prosper. I say this to you guys, once the Lord delivers you and calms the storm, do not stop praying. Do not stop seeking a relationship with Abba, with Jesus. Lest your enemies find another gate to enter by due to your lack of prayer and submission to God. Please do not be fooled. The Lord is happy to close this gate because he knows this is what you need in order to get your breakthrough. But do not get complacent once this gate is closed to the adversaries and you feel like, okay, you know, that's just, that's that, that's it. I don't have to pray no more. I don't have to seek God anymore. Do not be fooled. This is what the enemy wants you to do. He wants you to be so happy with your breakthrough that you literally just forget about God. You, God wants us to be happy, right? He does, but he does not want us to forget about him. He does not want us to stop praying, right? Our prayers may shift. So we may shift from, you know, just, just different prayers. We may not be doing so much of spiritual warfare prayers. It might shift to other things prayers or whatever, but God does not want us to stop praying altogether. The enemy does. We have to remember the word tells us resist the devil and he will flee from you. And it also says, but he only goes away for a season. He will come back to see if you are still on guard. On guard meaning still praying for your household, still covering your family, with the blood of Jesus. And most importantly, that you're still submitted to Jesus. The enemy will flee once this gate is closed, but he will come back to see if you are in a place of complacency. He will come back to see if you are in a place of slumber. He wants you to be in a place of slumber. He wants you to not be watchful. If the enemy finds you lacking and sleeping, not on guard. He will hit you harder than he did before. Please know this. So stay prayed up, stay submitted, be happy because God is closing that gate. Victory is yours and victory is here, but do not stop praying once you receive your breakthrough. Okay, guys, always remember that Jesus loves you and I love you too. Until next time.